Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day 180. 180. So 182 and a half, right, would be halfway, halfway through the year. So um, we'll say 183. We'll celebrate halfway through. So um, out of 365 days, we will have done a video every day for, you know, half the year. So it's tough. I will give it that much. Um, it is. Uh, it has been a challenge to get one out every day, especially on the road. Um, when we're gone for the 13,000 miles, you know, that's one of the things I'm worried about. One is you have to have good internet to be able to upload it. And uh, then, you know, just time. Time to stop and put it all together of an evening. Um, and I'm getting pretty good at this, so I don't record a lot of excess. So it makes it easier for me to trim it up and get it out <clears throat> anyway workout is done it is friday it's a three-day weekend so i hope you all are out um, enjoying your three-day weekend at the lake on the bike doing something that you love and uh, just relaxing this weekend i don't know what we're gonna do i imagine some house product house products <laughs> house repairs and getting everything around here because we only got like I think four or five weekends before we're out of here again so we got to get we got to utilize our weekends as much as possible get as much done as possible so that when we're on the road we're not fretting about did we do that did we do that you know how it is anyway it's Friday I need coffee away we go all right I blinked and it's the end of Friday oh, I'm getting rained on here this ain't gonna work welcome to Florida and rainy season see all the clouds see the nastiness it's actually raining right now this is a daily occurrence. I think I'm going to back up into the garage where I don't get all wet. Anywho, hope everybody had a great Friday. It was a crazy busy Friday here. We're still trying to catch up, right? We just got back on Tuesday, so that gave us Wednesday, Thursday, Friday to kind of get caught up. This weekend is um, Memorial Day weekend, so Angie was just like, so are we going on a Memorial Day ride? Um, what's happening? So I told her she was in charge of that um, if we're gonna go find us an event to attend because I was like you know we just got back we only have a few weeks till we got to be gone again we were literally just she was just figuring out what our schedule looks like so check this out um, on I think it's the 13th we'll head back from Sturgis we figure we'll be back by the 17th we will drop Desi off we will stay till the 19th and then we head back to Missouri um, we're gonna go stay with uh, her friend Sam and then with her brother Gino and their kids uh, just to see family and all and then then we start our, our tour right so we have um, Lake of the Ozarks then we have BBB then we have K River then we have um, the Barber Festival in uh, Alabama and then we have Biketoberfest and then we have our cruise so <laughs> with the exception of two days we will leave June 28th and come back at the end of October crazy right here comes that rain it's raining harder now anyway so that is our current plan and uh, looks like everything's going to work out for that. We'll give you more details as we get more stuff booked and planned, like what days will be where and so on and so forth. So if you're out at those events, um, well, I'm sure we'll have meetups and everything while we're there so we can meet up, hang out, maybe get a ride in. You know, all the fun stuff we like to do. All the stuff that makes this job crazy cool. Ordered Mama a new tire today. I've already got my new tire over here. I have to say, you know, because everybody's always talking about tires, and I can truly say I've tried them all. So um, I have uh, tried Chinkos, I have tried Dunlops, I hate Dunlops. Um, I've tried uh, Michelin, the Commander 2s, and I got a Commander 3 actually on my bike, front of my bike now. The Commander 2s, I did not like. I like the wear, like they lasted forever, but they had such a hard strip down the center that on um, rain and water, they were slick as snot. And I mean, every time I would come to stop when it was raining, um, my back tire would be skidding and uh, I just didn't like that. So the grip just wasn't there in the rain. Um, then I found Metzler. So I run Metzler Cruise Techs on silver. 
Um, I really like it, although I got a Shinko on the back now because I had to have it replaced in Missouri last year, which I have no problem with the Shinkos. The Shinkos are cheaper. They don't last as long, though. I mean, if I can get eight to 10,000 miles out of a Shinko, um, I'm doing really good. They have really good grip. I have no issue with the tire. But like Mama Badger's tire, it I looked it up. It has 17,000 miles on the rear tire right now, and it still looks really good. I mean, that's why I was contemplating whether to switch it out or not. When I get the new tire in and I go to change them, I'm gonna put them side by side and, you know, see. The other thing is, since I'm changing my rear tire and her rear tire at the same time, mine with a Metzler Cruise Tech, hers with a Metzler ME888 Ultra, I think it's called, um, we can compare. Since we'll be doing the exact same riding on the exact same bikes with pretty much the exact same weight, um, I'll be able to compare the, rare, the wear between the Cruise Tech and the 888 and see what's, which one's better. The last Cruise Tech I had on, I got 12,000 miles out of it. Like I said, hers is like 17 already, and it doesn't look like it's worn hardly at all. So I feel like the 888s might outperform the Cruise Techs, and if that's the case, I will switch to 888s on silver as well. Um, and the Metzler 888 will be my um, tire of choice. But anyway, um, I'll let you know as that progresses and what happens there. Um, the tire game, right? What tire's the best? Everybody has their own preference. It's kind of like oil, right? Everybody has their own preference. Oil, tires, whatever. I will try them all just to see which one works best for me and my bike. Um, because, I mean, you may be happy with something, but if you don't try something else, then how do you know that something else isn't better? So I keep trying until I find like that perfect combination. And so far, Metzlers have been um, the top of, of my heap. So I'm gonna stick with the Metzlers for a while unless something happens that gives me a reason to change. Um, looks like Metzlers is it for me. I did have somebody say I need to cover up, so I mean, cover up red over here. Um, I don't know why, I've got the cylinders covered up and uh, you know, most of the paints just gonna have some dust on it so no big deal oh speaking of silver so i was gonna have um speaking of red i was gonna have silver cylinders redone and put on silver i can buy brand new from harley davidson um jugs for silver i can't buy anything else um pistons rings all that stuff's all um discontinued but the jugs they still have the jugs so i'm buying the jugs um, for red to put red back together like brand spanking new so I need to order those this is gonna take a couple weeks and I want to have them here before I leave on the trip and then this winter red will be my project I'll put red's motor back together and uh, she'll be as good as new she'll be better than new she'll have less miles on her so anyway that's the plan I have rattled on and on and you know what mama badger and me no kids tonight our extra cat has gone home with uh, with Desi, who was here last night. So it's just our little little family tonight. I think we're gonna watch some movies or something. Um, watching movies for us is a little different than most. So she'll be in her chair, I'll be in my chair. She'll have her laptop, I'll have my laptop and phone, and we'll have a movie on while we're working. <laughs> That's kind of the way it works for us. But anyway, we're still in the same room kind of relaxing and hanging out together. So I'm gonna go do that. Plus I have to edit this video and we will see you guys tomorrow.